Yo, what's going on? I think it's time we have a chat. What's up, guys? My name is Lights, and there's something I want to talk about. There's there's something that bothers me. There's a couple things that bothers me. And now that we're done with our gold and diamond camo guides for every single gun in the game, I worked so hard on that. I busted my 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 ass to get every single gun diamond of dark matter and to consistently upload guides for new people to the game, for people who are just starting the camos, etc. And I'm so glad you guys took that series so well. But since that's over, you know, we have a couple little mini-series that I plan on doing. There's a couple things I plan on uploading. But day-to-day -day content is going to be a little more variety now. It's not going to be necessarily gun guides on and on. And this is an example of, of what you're going to see. I, I do YouTube as an outlet to share my thoughts, my experience. I don't upload other people's weapon stuff and showcase. Like I don't upload other people's hero gear sets and be like, yo guys, I don't have this, but here it is. Here's the first person in the world to have hero gear. Here's the first person to have dark matter, even though it's modded. I didn't upload dark matter stuff until I earned it. I do that to showcase and, and to log my, my journey throughout the world of gaming. I do this to keep track of what I'm doing so you guys know what I'm doing so I can look back into a year or so from now and look back and say, hey, look, this is what I was doing, this is what I was up to. And it's just that out. This is also a, a ground where I can sit here and speak my mind. And if I say that I don't care about your opinions, it's not because I am ruthless and cold hearted and I don't care about the subscribers opinions. But if you don't like what I have to say, then you can disagree, and I don't care about that point, okay? I need people to agree or disagree either way. But let's talk about some things on YouTube here that's been going on the last couple months. Now, first of all, I want to talk about the oversaturation, okay? And then I want to talk about false information spreading, and confirming false news, like you know what you're talking about when you don't. And we've got some examples to go along with. So let's go ahead and talk about the oversaturation. Oversaturation that I'm talking about is, let's take the zombies community. I'm going to pick with the zombies community because a lot of them are my friends. And I have nothing against them. I truly don't. But this is something that bothers me. When I log into YouTube, I see a video in my, in my subscription feed. And it's titled, Black Ops 3 Zombies and the War Easter Egg. How to make black and white, you know, gameplay. And then I scroll down a video and there's a vid another video from, say, a prank channel I'm subscribed to and a vlog channel. And then there's another zombies YouTuber. How to get black and white, no more Easter egg and Shadows of Evil. And then I scroll through and there's another video and then another Shadows of Evil tutorial. How to get no more black and white. And then there's another video. And then there's another Shadows of Evil. How to get no more Easter egg. And this goes on and on. And there's probably about 10 of 15 of them. I am subscribed to so many YouTubers in the zombies community because I like watching zombies gameplay. I like learning some Easter eggs. But don't you think it's a little unnecessary if even, you know, a smaller channel or a larger channel, like, they're like, hey, my, my fellow zombie comrade YouTubers out there have uploaded this. I don't care. I'm going to upload it anyway. Like, if I wanted to join a community to to have the easiest time, I would join the zombies community, see what everybody else is uploading, and just do it for myself. But that's not what I like. I like to be able to see gameplays and challenges and stuff like that. But recently, you know, zombies content so dry that everybody uploads the same thing, the same tutorial. If somebody sees an Easter egg and I put Easter egg step in quotes, uh, that it's false or even if they know it's false, they're still going to upload it. And if they know it's false, they're going to leave it uploaded. And that's the problem I have. Now, something else I want to talk about is spreading false news. Let's start with number one example. SBMM, skill-based matchmaking. When this was, you know, hinted at in, in as Reddit as a new possibility, YouTubers lost their shit. Every single one of them uploaded a video. SBMM is back. Skill-based matchmaking is here. You know, a certain unnamed, I'm, I'm going to try so hard not to name names, but a certain YouTuber who has such high ranks in the search engine already, SBMM is back and in full force, guys. This is 100% confirmed. Call of Duty Black Ops 3 ruined. And when a friend of mine contacted Vondahar 
and got the direct news that there is absolutely zero SBMM implemented. It never was implemented and nothing changed about skill-based matchmaking and location-based matchmaking. Location was always the key. Everybody's little placebo effect, it was running crazy in their mind. Like, no, this is not true. But spreading false information like that, especially when you have so much influence, you should be ashamed of yourself. I feel like it's just, there's no responsibility anymore. And I'm going to say this, and I know you guys are going to call me out on it, but there's so many people who feel the need that they have to upload daily or twice daily just to keep their revenue up. And there's been days I've missed... Because I don't do this as as a job. If I did this as a job, I would have quit so long ago because I make literally nothing off of this. I mean, I make a few couple dollars, but that's about it. Like, it's not enough to go out and buy a new car and buy a new house, pay a full month's worth of rent and food and everything. I mean, I can take care of my dog and that's about it. It's just, it's so annoying because I take this so passionately. I put so much into it. I put so much interacting. I don't think of myself as anyone popular or anybody. Like, I get into parties with kids all the time, and they're like, oh, my God, lights. I can't believe you accepted my friend request on this. I'm sitting here. I'm like, dude, I'm just a guy that likes to play video games. Like, uh, let's let's play. You know, let's chill. And and that's all it is. And it's just, it, it hurts to know that people like this don't care. And I'm not saying these people do not care 100%. But if they focus more on the quality of the content and what they're telling people, the community would be so much better. But the saturation of misleading information. And example number two we're going to talk about is the damn Bowie knife. Okay, so we had modded gameplay of somebody being rank 1000. We know that the highest account right now legitimately streams 24 hours a day is only 400 something in the world. It's... It's crazy to think that somebody would be that high, but when you think of the account being played 24 hours a day, there's no way anybody else is legitimately past that. Legit, people. Come on. Think about it. It's clearly a modded account, and it's got the Bowie knife, all right? And the the reason I'm saying that this is almost 100% fake is if you look at the animation of the Bowie knife, it's so glitchy. It's so glitchy. It looks like you're holding a freaking sword, and I don't think anyone would be running around with a sword in multiplayer. But anyway, getting back to the point, so many YouTubers have posted, and let's read, oh, no, I'm not going to read through it, my webpage is down, but so many YouTubers have posted, Bowie Knife, how to get it at rank 1000, get the Bowie Knife secret weapon at rank 1000, everybody is confirming it, guys, confirming it, and actually, I have a screenshot right here of somebody's description that says, Black Ops 3 Bowie Knife in multiplayer, when you hit level 1000 in BO3 multiplayer, you instantly get the bowie knife that is 100 percent not confirmed you are misleading information and when you have 41,000 subscribers and you're uploading videos like this you have a responsibility to give people correct information but now everybody's like oh you get the bowie knife at rank 1000 you don't know that you don't have inside info you have a modded gameplay account of somebody being rank 1000 with a modded bowie knife and you Instantly, you're going to spread news that it's in the game. It's not. Everybody, every single person who's uploading this is saying it's in the game when you hit 1,000. How the fuck do you know that? Okay, so I'm sorry for the language. I'm sorry for a little bit of hostility. But as I said in the beginning, I use YouTube as an outlet to share my my thoughts and my experience with you guys. For any of you who cares, this is one of the longer videos I've done in a while because, as I said, I get to sit back and just enjoy talking to you guys and it, let me know your thoughts and opinions. Leave them in comments. Tweet them at me at Lights Out. And, you know, check out my other social media. Post on my Facebook page and, and, and follow my Instagram. Subscribe to the channel if you like Black Ops 3 content and zombie streams. I try to stream every single night. Until next time, guys. I'm Lights. Peace out. I hope you enjoyed the video. Show you the support with a like. And have a great day.